What's good? It's your boy JC. And if you're gonna stay on YouTube right now on a consistent basis, you need to be watching consistent basis. And you getting that from one of the most consistent people in the game, baby. Consistent basis coming at you on YouTube. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Justin Harris. He is you, you mine. And this is consistent basis where we talk about job is school. Stay in child up, man. You already know what it is, man. <laughs> Go ahead. Keep going. <coughs> Go ahead. What do we have today, Mr. We have the child the school top three child school albums. I feel my opinion, opinion, opinion. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> uh, we have the top three chopped and screw albums. Uh, I feel, in my opinion. Wait, hold for for the for the people that don't know, James. What is chopped and screw? Chopped and screwed is when I slow it down. Yeah, chop, chop, chop. That would that would be chopped and slowed. It. That screwed is that. You getting caught slow to screw it, boy? Chopped or slabbed. I have these folks in Texas say it, but uh, I recently went on a binge and listen to Texas music. I'm sorry to hear that. This is some Texas music. And I'm like, huh, give me some chop and screw. Let me see if I can find these that have a chop and screw in. Oh my god, they found a chop and screw. So uh, I'm gonna go through my top three, my favorite chop and screw albums. There are a lot of chop and screw albums. A lot of chop and screw albums. Mm -hmm. And they were a lot, but these three stand so far out to me that I just, like, I cannot. And I'm gonna rank these. Okay. So, uh, my number three would come from a character, would come from an artist. I did, I do not know if I want to put, cause the other artist also has a, has a place on this list. And I want to put their collab album on there, but I, cause it has like my fake, the greatest chocolate screw at song on, Oh shit, get a little my money. Power oh, the Lena. That, that, yeah, that's, like, that's, like, yeah. that's, like, that's like the ultimate chocolate screw song. The song sounds so perfect, chocolate screw. It is, yeah. But I cannot put that entire album on them. Because the album's not that good. That album's not that good, chocolate screw. That album's great. That album's great. Mm. Maybe because I have more nostalgic fat with comedian and comedian and you. But, anyways, and I'm derailing out. My three goes to the People's Champ of Power. I love this album. I love this album even more Chopped and Screwed. This shit sounds so good. Like, what? What? Nothing, I, I agree. You, you, make, you making a dumb ass face. Yeah, I'm just, I just got a dumb ass face. I, I have a dumb ass yeah, face. Okay. Okay. Well, like, this is just some songs on her, like, <laughs> the Sit Sideways, Chopped and Screwed, the Big Bop. Big ball and chop the screw. Big ball and big ball. It's already chopped. The hook is already chopped. Yeah. And it's even more chopped. It's like it sounds so much better. Uh, Marjorie Step with Lil Wayne sound good. Trill. Bun B chopped and screw. Screw sounds epic. So it, it's just, this, this is so great. It, oh man, so many diamonds. Like, with Tia. Mm. That sounds so good already. Then you put it chopped and screwed. Man, it just sounds so good, man. I love, I love it. I love this album. I love this album. Love the album. Screwed by, uh, shit, Michael Watts. Michael, Michael, Watts. Michael Watts screwed it. He's like my second favorite chopped and screwed. Oh, okay, that's the All right, now. All right, so uh, moving on number two. Moving on number two. I didn't know what I wanted to put on her. With the, I, yeah. The, no way. The, the first, uh, the, my first, my number, number one. And number two, both of these are classic albums. You're not gonna agree with me, but these are classic albums. This guy's voice is made for Chop and Screw. This guy's voice is just has the most ultimate Chop and Screw. But he, he, and it could have went number one, but I cannot put this album number one because number one is just such a classic to me. Okay. But. I judge this as a classic. I bought, went actually bought this chopped and screw when I when, I, when it came out. I'm like, oh, wow, I got to buy this. You, you bought a chopped and screw. I bought two chopped screw albums in my lifetime, 
And that's and that my number one, number two. My number two, mm-hmm. Slip the Ari Platt. What? Slip the Ari Platt. His first commercial ad when he signed the, uh, for real. Wow. This album, man. Wow. When did that come out? 06. Okay, I'll add. 05. Okay, I'll add 05 in my mind. Yeah, okay. Yeah. This shit was so good. Like, I already chopped and screwed. It was so good. Like, he put the diamond remix on him, mm-hmm. which was so dope. Might as a slip pull of her. Because <laughs> slip pull of sign stupid chop hey, and screw. Hey, hey. But how was the verse though? In an unoriginal one. Uh, he wasn't on the original. Oh, the original. Oh, I mean the remix. No, I mean the remix without it being chopped screw. Or was it just chopped screw? It's just chopped screw. They don't have they don't have the original version. You want the original version? Look, if you want to hear hear it normal without the chopped screw, yeah. look watch the video. But uh, Jesus, I also said a stupid chopped screw with a hey 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 hey. I'm like okay okay. <laughs> That's it though. Everything else is like this sounds so good. Click clack with Pusha T. That whole song, in fact, that's my second favorite Chop the Screw song. No, third favorite Chop the Screw. Third favorite Chop the Screw song. Like, and I ain't heard of that with Bun B, the one with Bun B, Chop the Screw. That sounds so good. It just sounds so. Mmm. 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 Yeah, it's Boys in Blue. We the Boys in Blue, motherfucker. Like, it just sounds so good. It sounds so dope. This is already a classic ass album. It's like. Mm. Then they got the original dimes on them. That was, that was this point. Um, <laughs> okay. So yeah, this is this is like just great. This is great, great, great music, great music. Simple. Like, I don't think he put his uh, he made his best album with that. Has he made better music? He has, but I don't think it's getting no better than this album. Then Chop Screw just made, made makes it even better. He got Allies on there, right? Who? The Allies. No way! Lost Park Outlaws. Oh, yeah. Come on, get, get together. Yo, no, no, when you get, say the Outlaws, get together. when you say the Outlaws, I mean, you should say Boss Hog Outlaws. No, I, no, why? Because you, you had me confused thinking you were talking about Tupac Outlaws. Yeah, what the fuck would he have them on them? Why would you even correlate that to Tupac? To, uh, because you said say Outlaws. If I say Outlaws, you're talking about Slim Thug, you should automatically assume I'm talking about the Boss Hog Outlaws. Why would, why would you think I'm talking about uh, Tupac Outlaws? So, we got to move on to number What's one. What's wrong with this guy? What's wrong with this guy? Apparently a lot, 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 lot. <laughs> okay, sorry. So, he said, okay, no, no, no. moving on to number one. Mm-hmm. This is like my favorite app, one of my favorite apps of my youth. Mike Jones? No, it's not Mike Jones. Fuck Mike Jones. Even though his album Chop, Chop, Screw sounds good. It makes it makes a lot more listenable. Listen. <laughs> wow, really? Yeah, it makes it a lot more listenable. Like that, that I stay closing and I can't explain. It sounds so much better. I stay you know what it does. It, does. it nah, sounds so much right. better. You're right. You're right. I, I, I was torn to put between my one and two. I also torn with, you know what? Let me put a, uh, let me get a. I don't uh, mention it. I don't mention it on here. Mike Jones chopped the screw down. Very good. Very good. It makes it listenable. Also, um, Kameen Empire Walls on um, album. A day. It sounds good, but the crowning one of the uh, I don't mention has to go to Bun B's tree. Chop and screw. I get that. Yeah. Okay. That shit okay. sounds so good. Chop and screw. So, off of that, number one. Oh, I thought that was number one. My bad. No, oh, no, no, that's not number one. Number one. Okay. This, this album sounds so good. This album sounds so good. It sounds so good even before it was chopped screwed. This is like my favorite album. Motherfucker slept on this guy, and like, I don't know why motherfucker slept on this guy. This shit was like the greatest album for like a, a month. <laughs> a month. A month. A month. What, what year? Give me, I'm gonna guess it. What year? 2000. Around Texas time. Around Texas, that was 2004. No. Like, Texas time, like 2000. It's like four, 2007. Six. Five, five, yeah, six, I, seven. I was close. Four, six, I said four to yeah, so, six. Yeah, so six. Two thousand six. What was it? Can you guess this out? Uh, it's a guy. One guy, right? Yes, one guy. 
Thumbs up, sign of revenge, sign of revenge. I don't know, I got description now. Shh, fuck, no. th th this was my shit here. This was my shit here. When they, like, turn it up, once I heard turn it up, I was like, like, this shit was dope. Sign of, the, the, uh, the intro to sign of revenge was so good. And then, like, everything else on, on, on sign of revenge was so dope for me. But, I'm gonna take out a few songs. Take a lot, like, think I'm crazy. They think I'm, I'm crazy. crazy. Take, take that. Well, I would. <laughs> like what? Front? The whole album, motherfucker. Are you fucking The whole album, album no. 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 The whole no. What a hype that album got. It was not a very good album. You a fucking lie. It was not. You a fucking lie. It was not. No. For the hype? No, it was not. Uh, for, for your number shit, it went platinum. That doesn't matter. It went platinum. It doesn't matter. What, one time platinum? So, so, so fucking what? Well, it was not a good album. You a fucking for lie. For the hype, I mean, it was not a good album. For the the Grammy got for um that song with with Crazy Bone, that that Rodney Rodney that should not have got a. Uh, what do you mean? That's, I'm, I'm glad you pointed that out. I'm gonna point that out. The fucking Rodney got Grammy. That's so. Uh, it's just. Mm, it's just Rodney was, it was it went commercial until everybody got on. It. And you know what? That's the thing. I I'm the first motherfucker to start playing Rodney, and that motherfucker didn't like really just get up on like that. I know because it, it was terrible. This shit was dope. Shit, it just sounds so good. Going all the way, and then let, let, let's not talk about how picture perfect, how good picture perfect sound gonna be. That shit, that like the best song already on the fucking what, what's called on the front on the uh, regular version album. I don't think I hated the other song gonna be on uh, taking pictures on the, that 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 uh, that 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 didn't make the album. Man. But not taking pictures on um, no snitching, no snitching didn't make the album. I hated that. But the end this shit out. With Southern Takeover, with Killer Mike and Press Truck, already good. Then you go into riding, which go right in the ride, rider. <laughs> Riding goes right in the rider, and it's just so, so, so seamless. OG Ron C. How to be is, is a legend for chopping this up like how he did. Okay, alright. <laughs> okay, I can't agree with you on that one, man. It, it didn't. Okay, okay. It would have been better if Michael Watson. Sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Out of here. No, been, Michael Watson's not the been. best chop to screw out of. That's true. He's not. He's not. But I feel like he would have been So, yeah. Uh, anyways, number three would be Power Walls, mm -hmm. People's Champ. Number two would be Slim Thugs, I Red Platinum. Number one, Sound of Revenge. Great. One of the greatest albums. How do you feel about um, artists that are not from Texas who screw you? I mean, like, I don't mind it if it's from Texas or Memphis. You know I'm saying, what if I get Atlanta or let's say T.I. can die with it. I mean, what well, they do that for Texas folks. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. But what happens if someone from someone else from someone else takes like with um, it's an Atlanta uh, DJ screws. Or, yeah, it like what Michael White did with DJ Screw shit. What if someone from Atlanta? It was so, our. I'm just saying. What, what, what if it what if I don't, I don't think that Atlanta has a slow, a sense of slow. Atlanta's kind of like a fast thing. Yeah, I'm saying kind of fast. Right? So I don't think huh? that work. Anything work? It works with Memphis because Memphis is slow. It's kind of slowed as well. Yeah, I'm sure. So they have their own like, still, they have their own chop and screw type thing going to Memphis, going to Memphis at the four time. So it sounded right with Memphis and Texas. Mm. Memphis and Texas, I had no problem with. When I listen, when I hear an Atlanta rapper, artist chop and screw them. You don't think, uh, hmm. You think Travis Scott would sound right? Travis Scott's from Texas, so yes, he sounds right. No, I'm saying, but he just sounds like 
No, 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 Travis Scott. No, Travis Scott sounds better. Has his own thing. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying he doesn't sound like. Um, you know he sounds like an Atlanta artist. That's what I'm saying. That's what, that's I, what I asked you. I don't think was. Travis Scott's screw would sound good. Yeah. Kind of like how Channel Purple didn't sound good. Screw. <laughs> oh God. Channel Orange. Orange. Uh, yeah. Frank Ocean's album didn't sound good. Mm-hmm. Screw. Okay, gotcha. So uh, yeah, uh, those are my top six. Three chops. You could just put all of them to like a top seven. I didn't want to do that because I would have to sit there and be, listen to our albums for a long, long time. Man. <laughs> okay, well. The albums, because these songs use run nine minutes. Mm-hmm. So. So how long would it take you to listen to one complete screwed album then? Probably like 12 hours. <laughs> That's it. Just cut it. Just cut it. Just cut it. Cut it off. Just cut it, cut it off. Cut it off. He's I'm out. just the Harris. He is. <laughs> Screw juice. You're going down, man. Screw juice. And um, you got to move. You got to move. Going down. You got to move. I ain't gotta do that. Cut it off, cut it off, cut it off. We're done. That's it. That's it. <laughs>